We love using electricity, but we kind of take it for granted. It doesn't grow on trees. There is a massive network, our national grid, running 24 seven to keep your lights on, your water hot, and your PlayStation alive. Let's jump back to 1885. The first electricity in New Zealand lit up a gold mine in Otago. In 1888, we plugged in Reefton, making it the first town in the Southern Hemisphere to get electrified. Since then, we've built a world-class grid that crosses mountains and valleys, linked the islands with an undersea cable, and created one of the world's greenest electricity systems. But back then, people could never have imagined how much we'd rely on electricity to power our cars, heat our homes, and even run the entire internet. So what will we look back on 100 years from now? Predicting how we'll be using electricity lets us plan for a future where we can actually grow our economy and reach net zero emissions by 2050. Transpower has talked to experts and the public and come up with five possible futures, each built around that same goal. At one end of the spectrum is the patchwork future. We just muddle along. A few solar panels here, a couple of EVs there, but no real plan. We start relying on imported gas and electricity gets more volatile. At the other extreme, Aotearoa intelligence, high tech, high growth. Picture huge data centers, AI companies, gaming studios running non-stop, electricity use skyrockets, but we're also building heaps of renewables to match it. And in between, Aotearoa could go fully green, slowly electrify, or turn into a clean tech factory nation. Each future needs different amounts of electricity and a different national grid. If we build too little, we end up taking cold showers in the dark. Too much, we pay for infrastructure we don't need. We need the Goldilocks grid, just right for New Zealand, built for a thriving economy and a net zero 2050. What do you think? Let us know in the comments.